everyone, it is Mona here at Craft Clutch and today we're going to do a polymer clay bunny. I have some white polymer clay and all I'm going to do is squish it and knead it until it gets soft. Once I do, I'm going to break off a piece and just roll it. And I'm going to roll this into a ball until it's nice and smooth. And then I'm going to kind of turn it into a pear shape. Kind of like this. And that is going to be the bunny's body, very simply just like that. I'm going to break off a little bit more. This is going to be his head. Just going to squish it on, attach it. Now I'm going to take two equal parts. And the way I'm going to measure whether or not they're equal is I'm just going to roll them into balls and look at them. And if they're pretty close, then we're good. Now I'm going to do the same thing and put, turn these into a little bit of a, a barrel y shape. Press him on here. I'm trying to shape his foot. So you could use even a pen, whatever, just to kind of give that indent and then begin to smooth it. Now we need a couple arms. We're going to do the same thing and get a couple of even size pieces or close to even and turn it into a little bit of a cylinder. Now I'm going to take two very small balls of white clay and I'm going to put them right here. So that kind of makes up that little area on his face where his whiskers come out. So I'm going to squish that down a little bit and then I'm just going to squish these down to the shape of an ear where I'm going to have it thinner on one end and thicker on the other. Kind okay. of, and I'm going to press that on there. I am going to use my tool to kind of smooth it. Now we're starting to look like a bunny a little bit. I'm going to attach this one. I'm going to bend one of the ears over just a little bit. And that gives them a little bit of character. And I like to keep little wet ones on hand because when I'm working with the different colors, especially with um, an extreme like a black and a white, sometimes it'll come off on your fingers and then it transfers over to the other color, which doesn't look very nice. So I'm going to make two dots for the eyes. I'm going to put them on here. And I've got this little tool which I'm going to use. You could use a pen or whatever you want. And I'm just going to press them in. I'm going to do it this way so I can try to get them even. Okay, and I'm going to just press it right in the middle so I know it's attached. Just like this. Alright, and then I've got a little piece for his nose. I'm going to make a little carrot for him as well. I have a little bit of orange and I'll need a little bit of green. So just create the shape of a carrot. And I'll stick the two together and I'll take my craft knife and just cut like this. So then that can spread apart and look more like the, the top of the carrot. And then I'll also put the little stripes into the carrot on both sides. And we're going to bake all of this. The bunny has baked and is hardened as has the carrot. Now all I need to do is add the accents. I'm going to use some acrylic paint and I'm using it in a very pale pink. And I'm going to just do the accent on the inside of the ear. Alright, then I'm going to use the back of the paintbrush. And I'm just going to make the markings on the feet. Got the same thing going on the paws. Then I'm going to take a little bit of black paint and on a skewer stick I'm just going to put a couple dots on his little whiskery things for a little accent. Here's the bunny so far and we just need to add the carrot. So I'm going to put that right there like this and I can see where it's going to touch so I'm going to take a little bit of super glue. You can do any glue you want. Carefully place it in. That's made contact. This would be fun to have just sitting around or you could certainly make a whole grouping of them or have it maybe if you wanted to make some for Easter have it at every place setting. It's time to think spring, so I was thinking a bunny's a perfect way to do that. 
We still have a bunch of snow on the ground here, but I hope it's better where you're at. And be sure to let me know in the comments below. We will definitely see you next time. Stay safe and happy crafting, you guys.